You gotta know who this is, right? No? Unfortunately oh, not. Oh no! <laughs> wow! <laughs> What's up, everybody, from our AT&T MLS studios in New York City. Welcome on into This Week in MLS, presented by Target. Sitting back on the couch with my guy, Kalen Carr. I never get a, I never, I can't even imagine how smooth you do those opens. Oh, God, I feel like it's just kind of on autopilot. I had to do one last week, actually, with uh, go? Stephen Keel. I don't know, audience. <laughs> We actually didn't know how to end the show. We were, we were sitting there, yeah, we were like, how do you, do I do how do you stop hands? the show? I think at I the end, we were just like, all right. Yeah, you gotta, gotta wrap it up. Yeah, the wrap up. Wrap it up. How you doing, man? I'm doing, How's life? I'm, I'm doing well, yeah. Checking I just, in? I just got a new apartment. Uh, yeah, this yep. is, you guys, big life changes. I know, yep. you know, we it, should be talking about stuff, but <laughs> we're human beings as well. Um, yeah, I had a We nice don't sleep in the studio, yeah, although we, we swim to. Sometimes we do. Sometimes it comes here. pretty close. Yeah, I just I had a nice little vacay at the family lake yeah, house. Yeah, lake house, and then feeling also a little rejuved. Los Angeles. I saw you. I somehow saw you on Instagram there, and then all of a sudden you were poof yes. in LA sidelines. Literally to transported. That's pretty to cool. The West Coast. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Oh. In a bit. Cool. I was in Los Angeles. I don't read the rundown, so it everything was great. is a surprise. <laughs> it's all a surprise. Um, okay, so let's get to uh, the twin takeaways. I'm gonna let you go first. All right, uh, I'm gonna go out to Portland, where it was all. Bangers. Nothing bangers but nothing. bangers. Bangers or nothing. Is that, yeah, I like that. That's it. Uh, yeah, so Portland uh, beginning their homestand have been uh, on the road the first long stretch of the season, then kind of a little bit home and away, but now they're about to play, I think, 10 matches yeah. in a row at home. Yeah. <laughs> and they started off well in this one um, with a little bit of a derby clash against the Vancouver Whitecaps. Mm -hmm. I guess not a little bit, a lot. Oh, no, bit, that, right? is, that is that's Cascadia. That's the oh, real oh, deal. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Portland was able to get on top of this one. There was quite the debut goal, though, for the 19 year old oh, Blair on Vancouver. I had, Bear. I watched Bear. this. Bear, sorry. Watched get this. it right, Kaylin. Bear. I watched this like 10 times in a row because I just, I couldn't, I was like, how? How did he? Well, he's going do that. This. I know. That was the thing. <laughs> <laughs> like his body was going in one direction and then he rifles it in. Yeah. It was unbelievable. You have to think, the hard part is when you start, have you ever like done one thing amazing? Yeah. And then you're like, oh God. how are you going to top, he's 19, like, you're not going to score a better goal than that probably. Reminded me of that, um, the start to, of the season to Cincinnati. Who scored the banger for them? Their very first goal? Oh, God. Uh, Bertone, yeah. Yes. You yes, know, yes, just yes. Like, and it was like, oh man. Okay. Mm. I thought you were going to say season one of Big Little Lies. Get me started. I mean, I still watch whole episode season two Lies. all the way through, but I feel like they started off with you know. It such was a, well, and the, you know, the book only the the season two is like extra. Yeah, like there was no book written about season two. So, but God, we, all due we respect to Meryl Streep. Wow, what a tangent! Let's get let's get Meryl Streep on the show. A little window into my <laughs> private life. These days. <laughs> Do you think she watches soccer? <laughs> Susan <laughs> Sarandon, Comartino's Com mother-in-law. Yes. So, okay. Listen, you know, we've got, we've got, we can maybe we've work our roads. way through. We're gonna make it happen. Okay. So, uh, well, speaking of Hollywood stars, mm. myself included, I was Quincy in Los Angeles. America. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> oh yes. Not yet. Yes, we're gonna, we're gonna get there. Uh, so I was in uh, Los Angeles. Yes. This weekend, lovely, lovely city of angels for LAFC taking on the Red Bulls. And so this is my takeaway. Um, my takeaway is more, it's kind of like a two-parter today because I want to talk about the, uh, the, suddenly there is a legitimate golden boot race going on because I would say even a month ago, we were thinking Carlos Vela has got this thing locked up. You know, he was just absolutely flying, basically averaging a goal a game. Well, Joseph Martinez had something to say about that because this guy has just done, oh, I don't know, maybe broken MLS record and now scored in 10 consecutive games. Like, I mean, absolutely ridiculous. So he is now at 20 goals. Yes. Carlos Vela is at 23. Mm -hmm. Joseph Martinez scores two goals in their win against NYCFC, a 2-1 win against NYCFC at Mercedes-Benz. Could have been a hat trick. Oh, yeah. He scores in bunches, this yes. guy. And I, all of a sudden, I'm like, whoa, you know what, Vela? I'd be sweating a little bit. But here's the thing. I don't think Vela is actually sweating because I don't think it matters as much to him. I think Joseph wants this record again. Like, he wants to he wants to break his own record. So do you he wants think, the golden boot. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be, Susanna? So I was listening to I you can't guys. Decide. I was listening to you guys on Match Day Central. Um, and Charlie Davies. Yeah, really? listen. I support. Wow. I support my team. 
So I'm listening to Charlie Davis, and I think he made a really, really good point about Joseph Martinez, and that this guy is hungry. He wants to score. Whereas Vela, I think, you know, the goals, he's just so darn talented. The goals are just coming for him. He's not necessarily thinking, oh, I'm going to win the golden boot this right. year. I'm going to break all kinds of records. Where I think Joseph is of the mindset like, oh, no. This is mine. I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna break this record. So, and in that sense, I think if you take the two, the two mindsets, mindsets and differentiate it, I think Joseph has the edge here, because this guy can score in bunches. He's capable of scoring a hat trick in like, you know, three games in a row. So it's yeah, it's hard to bet against. It's him. hard to bet against him. So that's that's part of my takeaway. The other part of part my two. takeaway, part two, you guys, LAFC. I don't even know what to say about this team. They are so darn good. And watching them in person, we know this, right? We talk about it all the time. But watching them in person, like the way I got to do on Sunday night against a good Red Bulls team who really took it to them in the first half. The second half, LAFC put on a clinic. And admittedly, they were like, you know what? We defensively, they, they were kind of a mess in that, in that first half. Let them back in shortly before halftime. They went up two goals. The second half, it was like a clinic. I mean, the, the passing and to watch it, to watch the intricacies of them executing the midfield and then just like literally breaking down the Red Bulls, it was, it was beautiful. I mean, it's just beautiful. And I'm sitting there going, who can stop this team? Who can beat this team? Did you team? get a little misty? It, well, it, not misty, more just like overwhelmingly appreciative of the beautiful well, That's what I'm saying. You know, yeah, I'm feeling it is. the emotion, like it maybe it could have touched something. It's really quite special. And I I just, they are the, cla they are the class. Start, start the music. Oh, the violins, <laughs> the big soaring crescendo. <laughs> they're so good. No, it's, it's, Kaylin, they're it's fun just to watch. so yeah. good. We um, watch a lot of games here in the studio, and sometimes I'm not always pumped up about yeah. that, but the, when LAFC's on, I know that I'm going to get a good yeah. match. I know I'm going to see some beautiful football, uh, as Bob Bradley would say. And, and the, uh, the point yeah. is, too, is that, like, you know, the Red Bulls played really well, especially in that first half. Like, they, they took it to them, and, and yeah. the Red Bulls are a good team, and then LAFC just decimated them, yep. and that's what they do. Yeah. That's, they, what uh, they, that's what they do. The Red they Bulls do. had to play their best Literally. To hang on at halftime to, so, to, to, to equalize. I am just, I think, uh, if you guys have a chance to, to get out to Bank of California Stadium, number one, it's great, but just like watch this team. It's really, really special. Oh my Lord. There you go. Amen. Check them out. Amen. The beautiful you game. You haven't heard. In person. <laughs> In person. Okay, we're moving on. Kaylin, there was a, um, another, another sort of rivalry matchup. This weekend, okay. The hell is real, oh, Darby. Yes, there's this a good. This is a new one. There's a good feature on that. On yeah, YouTube. yeah. Yes, so yeah. this is uh, the two Ohio teams. We had the Columbus Crew, SC, taking on FC Cincinnati, and this is the first time that these two teams were were meeting up. It ended up to be a pretty darn good game, a two-two draw. Um, yeah. It was. Jossie, though. Jossie. Oh, oh, God. I know. He had know. a chance I know. to win did. this. Go down, start this thing off. <sighs> bang. I know. That he's, one's going to hurt. He's, he's going to be thinking about but, uh, that one. But a good match. Atmosphere. I just talked to a buddy who was there yeah. yesterday, and he was telling me the atmosphere between the two teams was amazing. That's great. And between the supporters groups traveling up and down, there's another match in two weeks. I will be there. I believe during Heineken Rivalry yes, Week, right? Yes, I will be at that You're one. You're going to go to that? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yep, yeah. I will be there. And I also sat down with one of the players in this uh, sure rivalry did. match we might see. The rookie, Frankie Amaya, number one draft pick. I gave him a little bit of a quiz on MLS history, <laughs> and I realized how old I was. Oh. Let's take a look. I'm here with Frankie Amaya from FC Cincinnati. And Frankie, today we're going to give you a little bit of a history lesson, because I know, uh, what, what year were you born in, actually? 2000. 2000, all right. I was in high school at that time. <laughs> so we are going to have to uh, do a little bit of a deep dive on MLS to see if you recognize some of these names. We'll see how you do. How are you feeling? I'm feeling nervous. Yeah. <laughs> so the first one, oh, I think you should get this one. Oh, it should look I got familiar. This, Different shirt, but you I should got, get this. This is Mr. Hoy, my, my bro. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. Another young player in MLS. This one's a legend. You got to know who this is, right? No. Unfortunately oh, not. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. I guess, yeah, Freddie Adu. But you know the name, right? No. Freddie Adu, really? Wow. <laughs> Jeez, 2000, well I guess you could say, yeah, Freddie's first year in MLS was probably like 2003 or four, so you were like three, four years old. Yeah, years yeah. old. 
Oh boy, all right, I'm gonna have to uh, come to grips with my age here. All right, well, let's see if we can go to the next one. Can we move a little further in time? Oh no, this is even actually further back in time. Yeah, no, but this no. is another former uh, UCLA That's guy. Kobe, Kobe Jones? Kobe Jones, yeah, yes, yeah, there Kobe you go. Jones, yeah. Here we go. Mexican roots, Cuauhtémoc Blanco. Oh, yes, look, that yes. one took no time. That one's I love quick, that. that one's quick. Okay, Cuauhtémoc and I were teammates, actually. Really? In Chicago, yeah. I'm probably in the photo, just somewhere behind. <laughs> Basically, uh, cool. having nothing to do with this goal, just being like, wow, uh, we're really testing you here. This one goes way back. Look at those jerseys. I don't even one. know that team. Former U.S. national team legend, Eric Winalda. This is another one where this, the jersey might throw you off a That's little bit. That's the galaxy coach. Yes. Escaloto, or Escaloto? Or? Yeah, yeah, Escaloto, yeah. yeah. Yep. This is a good one. Wow, weird picture. I, I feel sorry. I apologize <laughs> to this person, uh, a friend of mine, former teammate. You got another one. Yeah, that's my roommate. Oh, that's, that's your roommate. Corbin Bone. No way. Yeah, he's my roommate this trip. Well, it's been cool to see your progression already. Um, we got to work on the history, though. Yeah. We, we got to. We got to. <laughs> you and I will do a little study hall off camera sometime. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, thanks so much, and best of luck the rest Thank of the way. Thank you. Cool. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh God. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, I feel old now too. Freddie, you do. Freddie yeah, Dew? I thought everybody knew Freddie Dew. Everybody Dew. knows Freddie Dew. It's <laughs> just blank. <laughs> oh, Frankie. Oh, but he's a sweet kid, though. Yeah, really good kid. And you guys are the same agent. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this, Hopefully this. it works out better for him. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, to uh, no, he's squad, a sweet squad. Heart. He is only 18, yeah. after all. Yeah. Yeah. No, he, he's a talented player. and. Um, yeah, he's there. This is a new MLS. Oh, yes. Susanna, this is a new MLS. Now. He was very cute. I interviewed him at Super Draft as the number one draft pick, and he was just like, it was one of these, like, bright, his eyes were yeah. so big and just, like, yeah. so excited. I'm like, oh, we I love the, the draft because it's always, you can tie. tell, it's usually the first time these guys have, like, put on a suit. Or a tie. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. He looked, he looked sharp. He looked good. He looked good. Well done, Frank. Very well played. Um, Kaylin, you have recently put out a new episode of uh, the movement, yes. Movimiento. Yes. And you guys, if you have not watched this one, it is sensational. This is one of my, I, I feel like I say this every episode, but Thank this you. is one of my, yeah. this is really, really one Let's of my Let's let favorites. the people check it out for themselves. Yeah. It's on YouTube, but here's a little preview clip. Do you think that soccer in some ways can challenge society more broadly to create a deeper understanding of people and where they're from? The fact that there's still so many incidents of racism around football in the world shows that there's a lot of work to be done. But in the best circumstances, football changes that. In the best circumstances, there is an understanding between different religions. There is an understanding between people of different backgrounds. The experiences you have when you work with players from different parts of the world, those experiences stay with you. If you have a country and, and everybody's divided, and somehow the team can be an example of what it means to be united, that's a good message every day. We believed in that in Egypt, and I, I think a lot of that carries through as we, we try to work here at LAFC. So good, Kaylin. Thank you. Really, really. I mean, it's just you tell you're finding these stories that nobody has told yet, and they're really they they're really powerful Thank and, you. and important and resonating. And uh, yeah, just proud of the awesome. proud of the work yeah, that yeah, you're yeah. that you're doing. A little fun fact: we licensed a track from this rapper Narsi. Yeah. And uh, it's got a feature with Talib Kweli in it. I, I think it might have been in the teaser, but I'm not sure. But uh, definitely. Shout Very out to him, because cool. that was really cool of oh, him to help us out. The music was sick in this one, yeah. too. Yeah, we had some good music. Loved the tracks. Thank you. Yeah. Good one. And I know, find and for, for those of you that don't know, Kaylin literally does everything on this episode, so he's like picking out the music. Oh, and, not everything. I got a good team that helps me out for sure. You do a lot. I do a lot, but I got a, I got a whole squad. Shout out to the Honey Badger, especially. Oh, yeah, I love the Honey you, Badger. Yeah, Badger. he's on my Instagram, but. HB. Yeah. Check it out, guys. Go to the MLS YouTube page, The Movement. All right, Kaylin. Did you see that? You don't even have to tell me, Suze. I'm on it. I'm ready. It's like it's like we never left. Okay. So much what today. do we got? There's a lot of options. Oh, oh God. Yeah, this is creepy, huh? 
We saw <laughs> this in Atlanta. This was at Mercedes-Benz. Is Mercedes there a person Benz under there? Stadium. I don't know. The thing is, Mercedes-Benz Stadium does kind of look like a spaceship, so yeah. you know, this alien feels strangely appropriate, but that is creepy. Well, he's got the bow tie on too, so oh, he's like, I don't... and the shade, so he's like, there to party. Look at the two sure. bald heads. It's kind of funny. Yeah, I guess they're uh, cousins or. <laughs> it's a little. Eh, things got weird. That is weird. Things That's got very weird, weird at the bend. It's okay. weird. I oh, like it though. This, this, this was probably one of my favorite things I saw all weekend, you guys, because we had um, DC hosting the LA Galaxy. Yeah. And check this out. It is a Zlatan versus Quincy Ameriqua Battle of the Man Buns. Just going at and Quincy was just like different techniques in on there. the man buns. Definitely. One's a little more in position on the back, and then we go the top sort of Look top at knot. The size difference though, the fact that like Quincy thought that he could just like stand toe to toe with Zlatan and yeah. be like, yeah, what up, bro? Have you ever stared down the nipple? Of Zlatan? <laughs> in the eyes and lived to tell it's the tale. It's so good. Uh, it's so good. So yeah, were... Quincy was living for this. Oh, he was ready for this. He was this. up for that. As, as they say in the call up, he was here for this. He was definitely. He'd give me all this lot time. He wanted. He was hoping for defensive corners and get up in his grill. That was great. Do you it see the part? Great. He said like to. I think it was to Jonah Dos mm -hmm. Santos. He's yeah. like, I'm in your head. Oh, God. I'm in your head. Barking. And I was like, it's great though, because Quincy was playing because Wayne Rooney yeah. wasn't available. Yeah. So like he, he comes his, in and he's like, I'm gonna take this like, moment. Wait, is this game on FS1? <laughs> is this is nationally televised. Let's I think go. This is national TV. Let's go. Um, he's gonna spin this off into an acting career, I believe. Nice result though for DC. Um yes, and a pretty poor one for the Galaxy. Yeah, well. Uh Pavone joined, but yeah, no Rooney, no no uh, Lucho. Yeah, so no substitutions. Yeah, Benny just played the whole guys. Was like, go go get him, fellas. Exactly. Gutsy performance. Very RFK gutsy. Like, um, so yeah, respect to DC and well Quincy done, DC. actually played really well in this game too. So he deserves some sure credit. Sure did. Too. Get right up there. Get just up, get in, up the in there. His face. Is, no was, fear. <laughs> I'm inspired. I feel like I'm all only in MLS. Does this happen? <laughs> only in MLS. It's, it's good. only MLS. It's good. Um, cool, Kaylin, that's our show, man. That's the whole That's the whole shebang. That's it. That's all she cool. wrote. Guys, all thank right. you. Thank you, as always, for watching, getting those comments. Say, hey, Watch what's up? Movement. Watch the movement. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. That's how you close the show. <laughs>